Hey guys, we have a cop here, 7-Eleven, pulled up next to this car right here. I want to see what's going on. He just had his red and blues on. <clears throat> he turned his red and blues off and pulled up here. <clears throat> it's 14 Paul 12, it looks like. Oh, 10. 14 Paul 10. So... He's right here. What's he doing on this car? Oh. Let's see what he's doing, guys. So. I want to see what he's doing. He pulled up here, 14 pole 10. So I don't know if this person called him or what, but we got the camera here to tell the truth. So, he's looking back to see if I'm still recording or not, which I am. Look at him ratting me out. What, is that his girlfriend or something? Something. Why is he blocking the door there? <coughs> we parked there like that, and then he went into 7-Eleven. Where are they going? They're probably going to a medical call. So we're recording this guy. He must know this person, but we're going to record anyway. Yeah, I'm recording you, dude. I'm Community Leo Watch. That's what we do. We watch Leos. Are they coming here? Is that fire truck coming here? They went up and did a U-turn. Are they going into McDonald's? Or are they coming here? <coughs> I don't think they know where they're going. Oh, they're coming here, I guess. I guess this person called for medical. We're recording this cop anyway. <coughs> so it's some type of medical. Engine 552 is here. I don't know why the cop is here, but engine 552 is here, 14 Paul 10 is the police car. And uh, except for a couple officers that are cool in the Ukaipa PD, I have no respect for Ukaipa police. Because they, uh, they have within their department liars, bullies, intimidators, and civil rights violators. <laughs> so the medic is out here, 552. Um, I didn't think to go live because I didn't think it was going to be anything. We'll see what's going on here. So 
So it's a medical emergency of some type. So is he going to take off then? Yeah, he can take off, dude. You don't need to be here. Or what's he doing? He got out his laptop. I guess to run him or something. So... Or is he showing him the call, maybe? <coughs> he pulled his laptop out of his car. I guess to show them the fire department the call. And there's a... SoCal Edison is here. They're here for... By the way, it is cold as crap out here. We're going to get over here. <clears throat> I've been cop watching for two hours now. This is the first cop car I've seen out here doing anything. Believe it or not, I've drove driven through the whole city of Ukaipa for two hours. This is the first cop car I've seen out here doing. These. I'm not saying they aren't. Maybe they've been doing calls, uh, service calls, responding to service or whatever. But since 9.33, it's now after 11.30. This is the first cop car I've seen actually out here on a call. Um, I did see one other one about 30 minutes ago up the street. He was parked in front of the station and he came down this way. I saw him coming back up, turned back and went back to the station. So he was parked in front of the de uh, police department. I drove up to the roundabouts, came around the roundabouts, came down. He wasn't parked there any longer. But that same police car came by me and turned back into the police station. So maybe he came down here and got coffee and went back to the station. And it could be a sergeant. I didn't see what unit it was. It might be a SAM unit. So if it's the sergeant, maybe he's the watch commander. We'll give him credit. Uh, ambulance is coming. But um, this is the first actual cop car I've seen on out here tonight for, since, uh, uh, for the two hours that I've been out here. So there's AMR medical response 29176. Engine 552 and 14 Paul 10. And this cop's over here spitting in the flower bed like a motherfucker. <laughs> um, I know I'm rambling, guys, but like, it's cold out here, man. But like I said, so this is the first police car I've seen in two hours out here. I haven't even seen a fucking police car in two hours except for this one. And then that one at the police station that came down here and went right back to the police station. But like I said, that could have been a SAM unit, which means if he's the watch commander, um, he may have came down here and got some coffee or some snacks for the crew and then went back <clears throat> to the station. So we'll give him credit for that. So this guy's looking... AMR does not like cameras, just so that you guys know. AMR do not like cameras. Um, I've heard some pretty <clears throat> nasty things from AMR people. So, wifey was in the ambulance once. And uh, she said she heard the... Um, AMR person who was putting like the IV and stuff in her arm say my god look at all this fat you don't know what I'm dealing with back here like really you know that's what she said that they said so that's alleged but <sighs> you know I've seen um, YouTube videos of AMR people snapping at cop watchers so they don't like people recording. 
They don't think we have a right to record? <clears throat> See what this guy does? He's pulling in here. He's going into 7-Eleven. So we're going to record it. Put it up. Let you guys see it in its entirety. Here's another AMR, second AMR. They're going to get canceled probably because we don't need two. It's cold as hell out here, man. I'm telling you right now, it is cold. So I just wanted to know what the cop was going to do, though. I was like, when I saw him get uh, back up here where I'm at and then pull up to that car, you know, I said, well, what the hell is he doing? I thought he was going to have them get out and start searching the car and stuff, but then it turned out to be a medical issue. Um, so I got this truck over here to my left. But anyway, on that AMR thing with wifey, uh, she made a complaint to AMR. Like she called their station or the main AMR office. And she was like, I want to make a complaint. She goes, I can't believe what one of your people said to about me. <clears throat> you know, so. And I get it. No, every occupation has rude people. You know what I mean? Um it was just that I've noticed a lot of AMR people don't like cameras. They don't like, and I'm not going to record the guy. They don't like people recording them. They don't think we have a right to record the patients or whatever. But uh, I'm not going to record him. He's getting on the stretcher. The guy actually walked over to the stretcher and uh, lay down on the stretcher. So I do have a right to record him and everything, but... I don't want to add insult to injury. I'll just narrate for you. He's on. He walked over, lay down on the stretcher, and then they put the straps on him so he don't fall off. Now they're wheeling him to the ambulance. <clears throat> so, and of course, we're filming the cops now. He's. Are they going to tow the vehicle, or are they just going to hold it here and have someone come get it? They'll probably leave it here. They probably locked it up and everything. But there goes the cop. So, see where the cop goes. He's going back to the station. Get some coffee or whatever. He's flying. Him, I don't know. I don't, my eyes aren't calibrated. I just wanted to see if he was going to get in the other lane to go to the station or not. Yeah, he did. He got over. He's going back to the police station. Probably tell Sarge that Jimmy's out there recording. So, Jimmy, that old troglodyte. So, there you go, guys. That's the end of it. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it.